going on you guys it's aviation 484 here and i'm back with another awesome video um back at it with these uh, new release videos um i haven't done or not yeah i have been keeping up with them so yeah uh nothing much else to say uh pretty boring release this month but let's just get um on with the um yeah with the video so of course if you guys didn't know or yeah i don't think you guys knew but uh my american crj 900 uh was sadly cancelled i don't know why i only ordered one and i also ordered on time as well um the delta one is coming though just geez after two months um but yeah but the american my, i'm not receiving that one so that's unfortunate uh the new york air i got and also the royal jordanian i got as well um yes yeah, so those should be the New York Air should be coming soon. Um, what else? Yeah, so pretty Southwest, of course, the classic retros got sold out. The mustard gold one. And the uh, CRJ, of course, got sold out. So, yeah. Uh, that was uh, April, and I believe they skipped May. So, I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe because uh, April was a little really bit dragged a little bit. But I don't know. Now it's June, so it makes sense to be june so let's get started so here we have the antonov antonov a n dash one two four registration is uniform romeo dash a two zero two seven so yes this is i guess the ukrainian one um really not really cool that gemini jets is actually releasing this i believe they've released uh many antonov aircraft before um well that's pretty cool the um this is not the 225, yeah. The 225 is the largest plane in the world, actually. Um, so yeah, that has three engines and so a lot of landing gear, so yeah. Uh, next we have the BA City Flyer, Embraer 170. Uh, registration is Golf Dash Lima Charlie Yankee uh, Golf. Very nice model. Um, yep. Next we have the Rex Regional Express 737-800, registration is Victor Hotel-Romeo Quebec Charlie. Um, I remember Gemini Jets releasing a Rex plane, I believe that... I can't ta remember the top of the head, but now they have the 737. I think that other one was a Saab 340, I don't remember. Um, actually, yeah, I don't remember, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, livery. Next we have, this is definitely, a, uh, not a musket, I'm not but this is definitely going to fly off the shelves, I believe. Uh, November 604 Sierra Kilo, Skywest Airlines. Now, I think it's their, okay, there we go. I think it's their, yeah, it's the home, um, regular livery. I got the Delta one, and that's coming, so thankfully I wasn't cancelled, um, but yeah. I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna get this to be honest with you. Um, reason why is, is like plus first of all I already have I'm getting the Delta one and second of all this livery isn't that common. Um, I have seen like this uh, the 200 CRJ 200, but um, yeah, uh, livery is pretty nice. I don't know I might have to think about this, but yeah this is gonna be a this is gonna be pretty demanded so. Pretty, this is gonna sell out fast, so if you guys really want to get it, um, but yeah. Uh, next we have the TWA Transworld Airlines 757-200, registration is November 725 Tang Tango Whiskey, I almost forgot the, and okay, um, uh, yeah, so in case you don't know, this is probably my least favorite TWA livery, this was actually their final livery. I think unveiled in 1996, seven around there, 1996 I believe, until their operations closed in 2001. So this was their final livery. My favorite was the red stripe. That would be awesome if I saw this in the red stripe livery. But yeah, uh, that's a classic airline. Next we have UPS McDonnell Douglas MD11. Uh, registration is November 281 Uniform Papa. Very cool model. Uh, this is also a pretty popular one, or will be a popular one. Not, of course, not as popular as the Skywest one, but 
this is gonna be a pretty good one. Um, next we have another interesting release. I, I've never seen Gemini just release this. The Wizz Air Airbus A320 Registration Hotel Alpha Dash Lima Whiskey Charlie. Uh, this is the Hungarian plane at first. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, that's actually very surprising that they released that. Um, but yeah. All right, so next we have the Gemini Max June. Uh, this is the F French Air Force. Uh, Republic, I don't know, I'm not gonna, Republica Francia or something, I, I don't know how to speak French, sorry, I should know how to pronounce that, uh, but it's just for the French Republic, uh, Foxtrot Dash Uniform Juliet Charlie Hotel, and, no, this is their, this livery, um, it would have been cool if they released that, uh, the one with the French flag colors, that one looks awesome, um, same thing with the British one, that, those are awesome, um, but yeah, these just, I, I find those other ones like very cool and attractive. Um, next we have the Boeing P-P8 Poseidon. This is the Royal Australian Air Force, sweet. Very nice. Um, yep, that those are gonna be a lot of awesome details. So that's really cool about these Gemini Max aircraft. So that's it for the 400 scale models. Now, now we have the 1200 scale models, and they have pretty awesome releases for 1200 scale. So first off, we have the America West Airlines 757-200, Ohio, Ohio livery. Registration is November 905 Alpha Whiskey. Um, yeah, that's the livery. Very nice. Next, we have the Eastern Airlines 757-200. Registration is November 502. Echo Alpha. Uh, I think my internet's slow today. My apologies for that, guys. Sorry about that. Um, very nice clip art. Um, yep. Good for classic collectors or any if, if you like these models, uh, these kind of aircraft. That'd be awesome. That's an awesome model for you guys. Next, we have the Bo FedEx Triple Seven F, November eight 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 Foxtrot Delta. And oh, this is a. Uh, oh wow, that's cool. So this is the optional doors uh, configuration. Wow, I'm actually surprised they only have this there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. These optional door configurations are usually very popular. So that's awesome, honestly. Um, next we have, I think that will fly off the shelves. Next we have the Frontier Airlines A321, November 704, Foxtrot Rome, uh, Romeo. Virginia the Wolf. Very nice aircraft. Next we have the Korean Air Cargo 747-400F, Registration Hotel Lima 7603. And this is also the optional doors configuration. I'm kind of surprised there's no regular one with them. Usually they release the regular model and then optional. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe they. Uh, I'm not too sure what that what, what's that about all what that's all about. But nevertheless, again, this is going to be a one that flies off the shelf. Um, yep. Next we have the Qantas 787-9 Dreamliner, a Victor Hotel Zulu November Kilo. And this other one is Flash Slats, so I don't really get to... Yeah, that's awesome. This is actually the real registration. I think Gemini Jets released VH-QAN or something when back a while back now. Uh, that was, of course, a fictional registration. This is the real one, which is awesome. And I think the same... Yes, it's just these. There's no... Okay. Next, we have the Qantas Freight. Airbus A321 P25... Uh, not 5. Uh, F. Victor Hotel dash uniform Lima Delta. Oh yes, this is the A321. Uh, Qantas and Australia Post. Again, Australia Post is I think like their their version of the USPS pretty much. So yeah, uh, that's what it is. It's awesome. Uh, then we have two awesome models: Qatar Airways Triple Seven Three Hundred ER Alpha Seven dash. Bravo, Echo Bravo, and the same thing with the other one, except that's flat slats. 
FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Really, really, really awesome livery. I usually am not a fan of special liveries, but this is a really awesome livery. Those color bands and all that, it's awesome. That's amazing. So, can't wait for that. Uh, Qatar 2022. Yep. Yeah. They usually host all sorts of soccer clubs and everything. Same thing with Emirates and Etihad. So, uh, that's awesome. Um, so, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you're new. Put in the comments below what you think of these releases. Put in the comments below which models you'll be getting. Or if whatever you're, whichever model you're interested uh personally i'm not getting any and that's actually a good thing because i because it's good saving money um you know the sky west was i was actually tempting like either get it or not but i decided no i'm not i don't need it so i had the delta one so yeah good to save my that good i'm saving money so whatever you guys want go ahead get it uh so yeah thanks for watching uh subscribe comment land i already said that sorry about that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video.